Are you in the market for a new home? Building a new home from scratch? Well, the first decision, the most important decision is what type of foundation do you use? Now, typically, you know, the homes I've used have used block foundations, but we have problems of water penetration, cracking, a little bit of settlement. If you go with a poured concrete, then you're dependent on the concrete mix and you're also dependent on the weather. What is it like when they actually pour the foundation? Now we're going to visit a company that solved these issues. They are Superior Walls and they're found in Middleburg, Snyder County. Well, here we are on the shop floor down here at Superior Walls. This is Kurt, who's, uh, you're the sales manager, yeah? Sales manager. It's amazing, just the, the size of your production. I had no idea it was gonna be this huge. It is, it's a big building. We have quite a few forms here, as you can see. This is actually one of the walls. All the walls are created horizontally, yeah? That's, that's correct. That's how all our forms are, are set up, and that's how we pour. And Paul, as you can see, um, all the rebar that we put in the wall system, um, each stud has a piece of rebar in it. Uh, the top and bottom bond beam has two pieces of rebar in it. And you can be sure when you pour the concrete that it's uniform everywhere. Whereas when you pour on site in the vertical wall, how do you guarantee all the concrete is getting to where you need it to get to? And that's been one of the big pluses of the system is that the quality control that we have here in the plant. Every foot of this wall is vibrated after the uh, concrete is poured in it. Now what we're seeing is the insulation, yep. which yes. is a, a heavy duty uh, polystyrene, is it? This whole system has an R value of 12 and a half. Excellent. So you mix your own concrete up, you control the quality of the concrete mix. Absolutely. And we pour it, we fill it right up to the top there, is it? We fill it right to the top and it's uh, vibrated and uh, screed it off. And the vibration is to get the concrete to move all into the mold and bring any air up That's to the surface. So. That's correct. That's kind of neat. Right, you arrive at the site, you've got your trucks with all the different panels on. What happens then? Well, we have a set crew, and the set crew will go around and, uh, and make sure that all the corner pins are at the right location. They'll compact the stone, and, um, and then they'll start setting walls. So the wall panels are put together, they're abutted, and I use bolts. And I give the real secret though is the, uh, the kind of the glue you use to bond yes. them together. We use three beads and uh, it's really, I guess, the, the basis of, uh, of the 15 year warranty that we provide uh, the homeowner. We had the chance to meet up with sales rep Ed Scars. He was going to actually go through some of the construction details at an actual building site near Wyalusing in Bradford County. Today we're at a job site for Kittner Modular Homes in Wyalusing, Pennsylvania. We're doing an installation of our eight foot two XI wall. Uh, a lot of people ask why there's no footer in the foundation and, and technically there is. We use a sub footer of clean crushed stone and we have an integral footer, which is our bottom bond beam. It has a, a double piece of rebar, uh, monolithically poured and, and, and thickened at the bottom to help support everything. Uh, the clean crushed stone is a great sub footer because it acts as a, a French drain. Uh, this is a, a typical example of a daylight drain. Basically this comes from the perimeter drain around the footer. Uh, the water, rainwater, groundwater will hit our wall, make its way down into that clean crushed stone, find the drain tile and make its way out to daylight. Uh, that's what keeps the, the basements dry. You don't have any of that musty or, or dank feeling when you're in them. That's the other nice thing. You can see those walls come perfectly together because when they're laid out in that form in the factory, they're laid out right next to one another. Really big benefit of doing everything inside. You know, these foundations come together. Something like this will be five to six hours. But a lot of people don't realize the work that's done ahead of time in the planning stages and in the factory uh, with the manufacturing and and everything in, in advance to the actual set and installation. One of the great benefits that you have uh, with this internal studding is that you have the insulation already included, the studding already included, it's ready to be finished. Uh, on a house like this you're looking at hundreds to thousands of dollars in just materials alone so that when this customer is ready to come in and put a den or a family room in, uh, run your electrical through our pre-done conduit holes any plumbing that you would need for you know, uh, sinks or bathrooms, electrical for your outlets. You run that, do your drywall, 
and you have your finished family room or, or rec room, whatever you decide to do down there. So it's a really nice product. If you need to find out more information about Superior Walls, go to our website, wnep.com slash hb.